Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking Air Mouse remote. It is called G20S Pro. This is another beautiful remote that will work with not only your Android boxes but your smart TV, also your Fire TV and your Nvidia Shield, your Raspberry Pi, your Windows, Mac and also Linux itself. I do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and click the notification icon select all in order for you to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos in a little more detail every time. Already you can see that the box is really nicely designed. This is something that we always like for the companies to create is not to give us a white box. You can see that they have spent a lot of time on designing and also even logo creation. This looks beautiful. Once it's all done, we're going to open it up from the bottom part and we're going to take all the components out of it, which is not a lot. And here are all the components that are part of this box. It comes with this user manual. It doesn't have many pages. And once you open, it talks about what type of connections you have on this and how you're going to be able to pair this with your IR remotes for your TV. Also, how you can make the cursor go faster or slower. Most of these on this video also talks about how to calibrate it just in case it doesn't work. And also in the bottom, you have the voice control on how it's going to work. And in the back part of it, it says how to use and when you open the back, it is in different language. But again, it's not bad. It looks like a pamphlet itself. And it is right here. Now here's the big moment. is the actual remote itself. It's inside of a plastic. And once you open it and you take it out, this is how the remote really looks. I really like this design. It has the IR sensor right on the top. Going around, it doesn't have any cuts. Going on the bottom also, it is really nicely done. Again, the microfiber that is used on this remote itself is pretty cool. Why? Because it doesn't grab any kind of fingerprint residue. Another good part about this remote is that the silicon part for the buttons that are made are also laser cut. So when you turn it on, we will show you in a few seconds of how the backlit will work on this. So let's go through and cover everything that is part of it. Remember one more thing that in the back is where you're going to put the batteries. But this is also for the first time when you get it, when you open it, you will find your USB dongle. Now this USB dongle is made for the RF connection. This is 2.4 gigahertz connection. And this is how your remote will work. If you don't have this, your remote will not work. So getting back into the actual remote itself, here it is. It takes two AAA batteries, which is not included in the box. But going to the front, let's cover everything that is part of it. Now, one thing I want to mention is power button is not made for your box. This is made so that we can turn off your TV. You have to program it. Another thing is the mic button is right on the top. Then you have the LED indicator. You have the mute button, which is also programmable for your TV. Then you have the page up the mouse button, which is the air mouse, and then the page down. You have a nice full four way navigation key with the OK in the middle. Then you have the return key, the home button. Now going down, you have the volume down, volume up in the middle. This icon means that it is voice search active. So that means is when you press it for a few seconds and you say a word, this will open up Google Assistant. And also you have the rewind, play and pause and fast forward. This also going to skip chapters and going back to a chapter. Now, if you look in the bottom part of it, you have a full numeric button. Also, you have the return key or they call it delete button. And this is also going to work as a backspace when you're typing. Then you have the zero in the middle and then you have the backlit. So you can turn it on and you can turn it off. We will show these in a few seconds of how that is possible. And also this will act as your menu key. So yes, they have managed to put two buttons together. Now, if you look right here is the actual logo for the G20. S is a little one on the top, then it says Pro. I really like this design to it. And again, this is kind of like engraved. So this way you cannot rub it off. Beautiful. Now go into the back part of it is where you're going to be able to put the two batteries, which I'm going to do right now. And there you go. And then we're going to put the 
back on so that means is now this will be functional now to make this video i have to mention that the usb is still not connected that's why it's blinking but in order for me to play with the backlit and if i have to press any button it should come on is because i disabled it now in order to do that when i'm doing this part a little bit backward you have to hold this for three seconds and then the backlit comes on there you go so this is how the backlit is created it's nicely laser cut it so this way only the icons that you need will be lit up i really like that and now it will turn off by itself after a few seconds of not using and this is how it's going to happen there you go now if i want to turn it back on you just have to press any button on the remote itself and there you go now it's on as easy as that it's so cool of how each button looks i really like the navigation part of it that just the okay and also you have the little button so you know which side of the navigation key you're going to press in order to make this work and now in order for you to not use the backlit at all so when you press it and you want to totally turn it off you just have to hold it for three seconds and there you go now it's off so now i press any button the backlit is not coming on and this way the battery will last you a lot longer just in case if you ever need it this is how the backlit will work all right so for the first test with this remote itself we have the tv on and now we're going to use our remote to see exactly how it functions the first thing is going to be the air mouse so when you turn it on you can see the air mouse on the actual screen which is right over there it's a black color again and it moves pretty fast now that's not the only thing we're going to turn off and just use the navigation key to see exactly how it functions and when we press any buttons you can see in the background which is in blur mode right now that it functions it works and when you go down down up or any of it when you're going through it it will function for you now that's not that is not the only thing when you select one of these apps like this one when you press ok it just functions very easily and it goes through so now when you press home it takes you back home very easily so that means these buttons do work now if i have to go through and select the another app like this one and it takes a couple of seconds for it to load and once it goes to the main screen there you go we're going to be able to press back a few times and it also going to be able to take you back so that means is the navigation key also the return and home button and the mouse button do really work so that's not only thing let's go next the next part is going to be the volume up and volume down so if i have to point or i don't have to even point i just have to press the volume control you can see it that on the side the volume is going up and down that's the beautiful part another thing is the mute button when you press it it automatically brings it down into mute so that way you can see it right now on the screen that it is muted there you go and now if i have to press the volume up again you can see that it does work that's how nice this remote really functions it is connected via usb so that is the main cause of this working really good so we just hooked up our tv os box so here's the remote we already connected the dongle to it and let's go through and play with it again there are some little parts that we have to make sure that it works you can see that right now i am connected via wi-fi so that means it should bring up everything but you can see that it's perfectly playing through so i can go through it and play with certain parts now the best part is that this is actual tv os and we have side loaded a bunch of things the first thing that we siloed it on this is the google chrome now this is the chrome browser basically it's not compatible to it but we were able to side load we have videos for that links will be available in the bottom if you're looking for one so here you go this is the page itself you can see that the mouse works really good with it and i'm able to select things too but before i do that there is a button called page up and page down on this so this is page up and this is page down so you're able to just press it and it will navigate through the pages itself which is a really good thing now another thing that i wanted to mention is going on a top part of it right here and now we have the actual keyboard coming in the bottom but if we turn off the mice we can select the keyboard itself on it which is perfect thing but you also have these numbers in the bottom of the remote itself so if i have to press any of it you can see that that it is typing it 
on the screen itself very easily. So that means as the numbers do work. Now, if I have to press the delete right there in the bottom, you can see that it deletes all of the numbers in the screen itself. So that means as this remote really works perfectly. That's not the only thing. This is how it really works. So you go here and you press the button for a few seconds. What is the weather like today? You can see that that it is going through to get us some information and there you go now it loads up and tell us what type of weather we have today so this is how easy it is to make this remote work so this is not the only thing let's go through and see if we can pair this so we can turn off this monitor or turn it on now as the instruction indicated that we have to hold the power button on this for a few seconds which we're going to do and then it should start blinking. There you go. Now we have to put this very, very near. And then we have to press the power button on the actual remote. And there you go. Now it's syncing. And now it's done. So now we should be able to use this power button to turn on or turn off the actual monitor. Let's test it out. So now we have our remote on hand. And we're going to just, you can see that right now the TV is on. So we're trying to turn it off. And you see that it easily works now to turn it back on same button we will press it and it turns on so this is a lot better than the any other remotes that i have played with because it easily turns on the room the actual tv or turns it off i really like this remote it's going to be one of my favorite from now on i'm going to use this daily with my videos and also when i'm navigating on my projectors this is going to be one of the ones that i'm going to use as you can see, this remote is really nicely designed. It is one of our favorite now since we start using it. It is really nicely done. Again, we do not have to do any kind of fixing on the actual remote to make it faster or slower since it is on a really good pace. We're going to keep it the same and we're going to use it from now on. I do not want to forget, if you want to order one of these remotes, links available in the bottom. Except that... I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info, and it has a lot of information in it. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places, and thank you.